My name is Jankit M. Humawas from BSEE3C. Now our topic for today is all about RLC series circuits. Now before we start our topic, let's recall the reactance and impedance for an inductor in a capacitor. Let us recall the reactance and impedance of a RLC circuit. For the circuit element resistor, we have a reactance X is equal to zero. Impedance Z are written in complex form. We have the rectangular form and the polar form. So the, the impedance of our resistor in rectangular form is simply R. And in polar form, we have R at an angle of zero. For the circuit element, of, a, of an inductor, reactance is equal to omega L, where omega is equal to 2 pi F. And for its impedance, we have J omega L in rectangular form. And then, and in polar form, we have omega L at an angle of positive 90 degrees. For the circuit element of a capacitor, we have a reactance of negative 1 over omega c and an impedance of 1 over j omega c in rectangular form and in polar form we have 1 over omega c at an angle of negative 90 degrees that's it In a series connection of 200 ohm resistor, 9 microfarad capacitor, 0 0.29 Henry inductor, and a supply voltage of 240 volts at 60 hertz. Find the inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, impedance, the current, phase angle, and the voltages across each element. So, we have a given of 270 ohm resistor, 9 microfarad capacitor, 0 0.29 Henry inductor, and a supply of 240 volts at 60 hertz. So let us find the inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, the impedance, the current, the phase angle, and then the voltages of each element. So finding the inductive reactance, we have 2 pi. F times L. So 2, 2 pi at the frequency 60 times the inductance of 0 0.29. So we have an inductive reactance of 109.33 ohms. For the capacitive reactance, we have 1 over 2 pi F times C. 2 pi times the frequency 60 times the capacitance of 9 microfarad. So the capacitive reactance is equal to 294.73 ohms. So let's find the impedance. Let's draw the impedance diagram. So for the resistance, to, uh, 270, positive reactance, 294.73, and then the inductive reactance, 109.33. So the sum of the three components. So the impedance is this one. This right here is XL 
xk plus xl so make this clear we will draw the impedance triangle so 270 let's name let let's name this as x so x and then the impedance so x equal to induct capacitive reactance plus inductive reactance so 294.73 negative 294 because it is below the x-axis plus 109.33 so we have oh, oh this x can be called as net reactance so we have a net reactance of negative 185.4 ohms so this negative sign indicates that the circuit is capacitive so, by, Pythago by Pythagorean theorem, we can get the impedance. So, Z is equal to the square root of R squared plus X squared. So, impedance is equal to square root of 270 squared plus negative 185.4 squared. We get an impedance of 327.53 ohms. So we are done with this. This one, this one. So let's find the the phase angle first, and then the current. So phase angle is just arc tangent of the opposite, and then the adjacent. So R tangent of X over R. R tangent of X which is negative 185.4 over 270. So angle theta is equal to or the phase angle is equal to negative 34 negative 34 point 48G We're done with this Let's apply the current Current is equal to Voltage over the impedance Voltage is equal to 240 Over Impedance of 357.53 So our current Is equal to 0 0.733 amperes there you go so lastly we need to find the voltage voltages in each element so all we need to do is remember the current and the reactances okay now let's erase because we don't have much space So, finding the voltages of transistors, we have a simple Ohm's law, current times the resistance. So, the current again, 0 0.733 times the resistance of 270. So the voltage in the resistance is 197.91 volts. For the voltage in the inductor, we have I times the reactance in the inductor or the 
inductive reactance which we have which we got uh, the answer of 109.33 so the voltage in the inductor is equal to 80.14 volts so lastly the voltage in the capacitor we have the current times the capacitive reactance so the current again is equal to 0 0.7733 amperes times the uh, capacitive reactance 294.73 for the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 216.03 now let's let's uh, have a phasor diagram so this will become your VL VR then VC then put the values for VL we have 80.14 volts VR 197.91 volts and then for VC 216.03 again sum of all the vectors or the components or the voltages is right here so let's call this resultant as your voltage supply then this right here is V VL uh, v, VC plus VL okay so let's draw this in phasor triangle or let's just call this as V okay no, 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 no. So here one hundred seven point thirty one VC plus VL and then the VS voltage supply. So V VC plus VL plus VL equal to negative two one six point zero four plus 80.14 so we have answer of second wait a minute negative 135.89 volts so substitute to get the, I mean, let's substitute this and this to get the Vs. So Vs, you can get Vs by the Gorian theorem, which Vr squared plus Vc plus Vl squared. So Vs is equal to 197.91 squared plus negative 135.89 squared oh, I forget the square root so voltage supply is equal to yes if I can I'm gonna complete this Two hundred forty volts. 
there you got it so the voltages across the element circuit are correct a 200 ohm resistor, a 150 millihenry inductor, and the two microfarad capacitor are in series. Find the total impedance in polar form and in rectangular form at 400 hertz. So, we have a given of 200 ohms, 150 millihenrys, two microfarad capacitance, 400 hertz. We need to find the total impedance in rectangular form and polar form. So, total impedance is equal to the impedance of the resistor plus the impedance of the capacitor, the, I mean the inductor plus the impedance of the capacitor. So, we need to get this one, this one, because the impedance of our resistor is just R or the 200 ohm. So we have impedance of one inductor is equal to J omega L or J times 2 pi times the frequency 400 hertz times the inductance 150 millihenries. So we have the impedance of an inductor is equal to J, 376.99 ohm. So for the impedance of the capacitor, we have 1 over J omega T. Two pi times 400 frequency times the capacitance to microfarad so we have the impedance of a capacitor is equal to negative j 198.94 ohms so we have the impedance of a inductor and impedance of a capacitor so G total is equal to, again, the impedance of a resistor is just resistance, R. So, 200 plus impedance of the inductor, J, 276.99, plus the impedance of the capacitor, which is negative J, 198.94. So, Z total, or the total impedance is equal to 200 plus J, 178.05 ohm, in rectangular form. So, we need, uh, we'll just have to convert it into polar form. So, we have... 267.77 with an angle of 41.80 I mean 68 degrees so there you have it the rectangular form and the polar form example number 3 Find the instantaneous value of the current if a supply voltage of 200 volts at 30 hertz are connected in series with 25 ohm resistor, 0 0.75 Henry inductor, 175 microfarad. So we have a given of 200 ohm, I mean 25 ohms, 0 0.75 Henry, 175 microfarad. 200 volts at 30 hertz find the instantaneous current so instantaneous current is equal to I max sine omega T 
Tapi plus the angle. So, we need to find the phase angle, the angular frequency, and then the uh, current in the circuit. So, current in the circuit is just I equals V over Z. And we need also, uh, we need to find the impedance. So, in finding the impedance, I mean the formula for impedance is equal to square root of r squared plus inductive reactance and as capacitive reactance squared okay let's start we need this one and this one so inductive reactance is equal to omega l 2 pi times 30 frequency times L inductance we have 141.37 ohms capacitive reactance we have 1 over omega c 2 pi times frequency 30 then the capacitance 175 microfarad so we get an answer of 30.32 ohms so impedance triangle looks like this again as you notice we have much greater inductive we have we have much greater reactance in the inductor than the capacitor so our impedance triangle looks like this which this one is still then the impedance base angle and then the resistance 35 so also familiarize this impedance triangle say uh, um, this impedance triangle can also be written as can be drawn as this one if you have you have greater reactance in the capacitor so z r That's it. Uh, just a short review. So let's erase this. So impedance. Is equal to the square root of R. 25 Plus. It's L minus XC. Or twenty five square plus one hundred point eleven one hundred eleven point zero five square square root. So the impedance is equal to one hundred thirteen point eighty three. Oh. So we can solve for the current. So for the current. So the current is equal to voltage of 200 over the impedance 113.83. We have a current of 1.76 amperes. We have done with this. Oh. The angular frequency. Angular frequency is just 2 pi f or 2 pi times 30. We have an angular frequency of 188.50.
Now this one. Oh, face angle. Face angle is arctan arctangent of x over r. So, remembering in the impedance triangle, x is this one. The um, the difference of the inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance. This one. These two are just the same. So, let's erase this one. So, our angle is equal to our tan of x, which is 111.05 over the resistance 25 so our angle is equal to 77.31 degrees so rewriting in the equation we have instantaneous current i max 1.76 Sine omega 188.05 T plus the angle 77. There you go. That's your answer. Thank you for listening.